If you have an ROG Ally or ROG Ally X, I'm going to show you how you can turn this into this. Or maybe something different. That's just my personal choice. But I'm going to show you how you can change this to virtually any video that you like and it's not that difficult to do. So what you're gonna want to do firstly is like and subscribe if you want more tips like this. Nah, just kidding, jokes aside, you don't have to do that. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> All right, so you're ready to change out the video on your ROG Ally for the boot screen. First of all, make sure you have your video ready to go. It needs to be an MP4 format. I don't have any sources, links, or recommendations on where to find videos from. You can get creative, you can screen record it, you can do anything you want to be able to get that MP4 format. Now, that's pretty easy to do. You shouldn't need help with that. Once you have your file downloaded, you can save it to the Ally directly from the internet, or you can put it on a flash drive and save it from another computer, for example, like I have done. Once you have that file ready to go, remember where it's at, but this is what you need to do. Open up Armory Crate, click on the folder icon up here, Go to content platform and you're going to download a theme first. Now the reason you need to download a theme first is so you can have the file structure needed to be able to replace the file. And you'll see that in a second. I'm going to download the ghost runner theme for an example. And just for good measure, we'll also download the Starfield one. So you can see that downloads there. And then I'll come over here and download the Starfield one. Now, once those are done, all you'll need to do is go over to this top part again, click on the gear icon, go to general, and you can see we now have the Ghost Runner theme selected. And you can change out these themes. You can put different videos in each one and have different startup videos for them. You might be able to even change out that thumbnail. You'll just have to tinker around in the file structure that I'll show you in just a second. So once that is selected for your boot screen, You'll close out of here. I'll leave a link below where the file structure is, but simply it's going to be right here. I'll try to put it up on screen or either in the description. So you see that we have Ghost Runner MP4. We've got Ghost Runner 2 backup.mp4 and we've got Ghost Runner 2-12.mp4. So you are going to take that video file that you have and name it the exact same as each of these. You're gonna duplicate the video basically, and you're gonna make each one the exact name as those MP4 files. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take the videos. I've already saved them on my flash drive. I'm going to copy them. So I'm gonna click and hold. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna go back to this folder. And then I'm going to paste them and replace them. And you can see where it says replace the files in this destination. You hit yes. Now I'm going to minimize that because I don't need it anymore, but I'm going to leave it open just in case I didn't do something right. And now there we go. Now we have a custom boot logo for the ROG ally and armory crate. And if you have Armory Crate set up to boot anytime your ally boots, that movie will display. So just kind of keep that in mind to make sure that you put something friendly on there that, you know, you're not going to get annoyed by or other people around you aren't going to get annoyed by. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, drop them below or let me know what you think about this little trick. I, I think it's pretty cool. It's a good way to customize Armory Crate. And I'll be back with some more Armory Crate customization tips. I've got a few other ideas that might even spice this up a little more. So until the next one, guys, I hope you have a good afternoon, good evening, or good night.